It is a very, very exciting weekend because I would say this weekend officially starts our Great Loop journey. This weekend, we are looking at three different boats that we could potentially do the Great Loop on. They asked us to push it back 30 minutes, so we're we're sitting in a church parking lot right now. Fitting, kind of. Yeah. Should we say a little prayer to God? Give us some guidance? <laughs> it's fitting. Yeah. So I have some notes that I have taken, so we'll just give you a quick little rundown before we go take a look. Today we are looking at a 1976 Marine Trader Europa. So Evan would know more than me, but a lot of people do the Great Loop in Marine Traders. However, this is the Europa, so it looks a little bit different than a lot that we've seen online. Yeah, a lot of trawlers for the Great Loop are keels to protect the running gear and everything. Um, and just Marine Trader, Main Ship, DeFever, um, Grand Banks, a lot of those manufacturers build a similar boat and this kind of year range fits the budget for us right now. Yes, we will most likely, well, it would be a miracle from God if we bought a boat after 2000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most of them will have some character, but we're excited for that. I mean, yeah, I think they're I think they're all good looking. Like I don't mind the look of them. For us, obviously, it's going to be more about the engine and what reliability, re what renovations it needs. So this one is 34 foot. It is a diesel engine. We're pretty much only looking, not pretty much. We are only looking at diesel engines. It is a full propane galley. 125 horsepower diesel engine. We do not know the hours on it, which to me is very important. Um, there's an electric anchor windlass. That's great. Contained head with a hot water shower. That's good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said there was a radar, GPS, and depth finder. I don't know the brand. I don't know anything about them, how old they are. Here we go. This is my dad's boat, and I'm helping him sell it. Gotcha. He's 90. Okay. Cool. And he's had it for about 18 years. Okay. So any real information that you need about it as far as anything, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to have you call him. Okay. Because okay. I just don't know that much about boats. No worries. Um, and he would be happy to talk to you. Okay. Probably more than what you would like yeah. about it. Do you guys boat? Are you guys pretty? Yeah, yes? we okay. do. So we're hoping to do the Great Loop is That's what. Okay, it was you that was I, yep. Obviously, it's an old boat. Yep. So right. you're going to need to put some elbow grease in yep. it. Yep. Yeah, that's that's um, the idea. They really went through with a fine tooth comb, and so that's fine too, but I didn't want to rush them. <clears throat> yep. Did he do all the maintenance himself? He did. He did all the maintenance He did all the maintenance himself. himself. Okay. And he's pretty meticulous about it. Like, when your car needs to have the tires rotated and the engine oil changed, he'll do it. And yeah. it Sounds like our same. dad. <laughs> and yeah, it's that old school, like, it gets done. And so he did the same thing with this boat. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. this was the teak over the fiberglass, This is teak right? over fiberglass, yes. So any, if you feel like it's a little spongy, it's, yeah. it's supposed to be. It has that give in it. Mm -hmm. But, um, but obviously, you know, there are some rotten spots. Yeah. And I want to be fully honest. Okay, we just saw boat number one. Here are, we have not even discussed it together. So, um, camera's on, camera, raw, raw, footage. raw reactions. Uh, my first reaction is that, or my first thought, I should say, is that we are seeing the exact same boat two feet longer and 10 years newer tomorrow. I'll be very interested to see that and compare it to this because this one. From what I heard, it sounds like it runs good. It needs a lot of work. It is old. It's old. Yeah, it's definitely old, which, you know, a number, like you, you go buy a 1976 car, and if it's already restored, you're paying for it. If it's not, you're gonna you, pay for it. You're gonna pay for it, and elbow grease, and just everything else that goes into it. Right. It'd need a full 
full refit. I mean, yeah. Every, all the paint stripped off, bottom top. Yeah, not just repainted, stripped and yeah. repainted. Sanded down. Everything down to from the out, the exterior to the teak. Yeah. I mean, I think the teak, I didn't really like the way the teak looked because they painted it white and yeah, you no, could it, tell. It was fiberglass flooring and decking with teak on top and it had give to it. Um, she started it for us, which was good. I mean, smells like diesel, runs like an old bus kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, fairly quiet when you close it up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, the sound didn't, you know, we're in a quiet neighborhood and I don't think it sounded too loud. Um, it is an up galley. Evan feels very strongly that, you know, he wants an up galley, meaning you're up on the boat. It's not like down. Yeah, I want to be able hole. to cook and talk to And that was nice that it's an up galley, but it, it was small. Yeah, it's I small. mean, it, it was like fridge, sink, oven. That yeah. was it. For some perspective, it is half the price of the next two that we're gonna look at. And then we just showed up and she's like, yeah, we're actually dropping in another 10 grand too. But this is a good starting point because now I know that size and that price is that's what we're gonna get. Both of us are very, very excited to see this next one. We have both been very excited since we saw the listing. So we're very excited about yeah. the, the, the idea of this one that we're about to see. Right. The second boat that we're seeing today is, unfortunately, it's mostly just us looking at the exterior of it. We have gotten in touch with the broker and the owners, but neither of them are in town right now. So we're gonna have to come back to actually get a tour of it. It is a 130 horsepower diesel engine with 788 hours. Apparently there was a complete refit in 2008. It does have a 400 amp hour house battery bank, five kilowatt Norpro generator, bow thruster, barrier coated, and it has an 800 mile cruising range, which is awesome. And it's 34 foot. Defever is made in America, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, most, this boat was made in California. Yeah, most boats Defever. are made in like Asia. It's okay first, or if we should just look from yeah, shore. I, I think that's fine. If you're serious, I mind. Yeah, the blue one, the uh, Euro gal. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Booty. <laughs> Out here even in the rain. Wow. Just finished looking at a Defever. Um, beautiful boat, made in California. The owners are not here at the moment, but my thoughts are it could be the one compared to the last one. <laughs> All fiberglass deck. The whole boat itself was better maintained, and it wasn't that much newer. I mean, what is it? Actually, I'd be two years older. Yeah, the fly bridge was bigger, the steering wheel up there was centered. It just made more sense. It was the boat builder. I aligned with what they were designing. <laughs> American made. <laughs> now we're at Shrimpers here in Stewart, doing a little debrief and lunch. One thing I said was when I was walking on the sides of the boat, which is called a gunnel, I literally go, high gunnels, high gunnels but wide too. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can see Ripley running up and down. <laughs> so we didn't get to see the inside of it, unfortunately, but the outside was a beauty just in itself and compared to the first one we saw. So we'll have to call Frank and Pat back when they're back from their trip so we can see the inside of it because we loved it. 
we will see what tomorrow brings. It is the next day. We are going to look at a third boat this weekend. So this one is a 1980, 1986, I'll add it in here, but it's about 10 or 11 years newer than the first one we saw yesterday. It's a Marine Trader Europa and it's 36 foot instead of 34 foot. So we are gonna see what the difference in 10 years can do and the difference in two feet. After yesterday, we were like, maybe 34 foot is just a tad too small for our liking. We definitely could do it and it would be cheaper in all aspects um, in terms of price of the boat when you factor in like marina fees, docking fees, that kind of thing. But after yesterday, we are interested in seeing what a 36, 38, and 40 foot boat would look like. So here we go. Right. Up for the hurricane. Uh, no damage. So that yeah. The fuel economy on it is just like to die for. I went down in here into the engine room and I realized like all the bulkheads are like new. And all the soundproofing on the top of it is like new. And I'm like, why is this all so new? And so then I go back to this guy's log and it was like, yeah, they pulled everything out of the engine room, painted the whole engine room, then they did all new bulkheads with new fuel tanks. Uh, what kind like of fuel tanks, tanks are in it? They're aluminum. They're aluminum. Yeah, so they're coated, epoxy coated aluminum tanks. Um, and so you have, I can show you in the engine room, but basically there's like a port and a starboard tank mm -hmm. and the way he wired or the way he plumbed them is so that you actually have the opportunity to pull only from one tank when you draw fuel to the engine. Instead of switching between this tank and that tank, you actually take the port side fuel tank and it goes into the starboard tank at, through a filter and filters all the fuel before it even ends up in this tank and then it goes through a filter on its way out to the engine. Yeah. So instead of it being like one-on-one -on -one and having dual filters, he ran it all through one side. Mm -hmm. But so once again, it was one of those things where you're like, how would I ever know this? Well, he hand wrote a note about how he did it, right? So <laughs> it's one of those things cool. that like, yeah, it really helped out when you're looking at boats because you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. like, what is this for? And they're like, oh, I don't know. You're yeah. Like, oh, okay, well, I kind of That's one of the impor most important things with the diesel too, it's clean. Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Fuel. And so, like, the rate cores on this, like, I, I changed them when I bought it. We, I mean, I w would say, like, I've put probably 50 gallons in it, and that's probably 25 more than I've ever burned. Maybe mm -hmm. 50. I mean, I mean, it literally burns about a gallon an hour. So, maybe 1.5. So, like, you take a five hour trip to the Bahamas, it takes five gallons. Mm -hmm. So, you're like, well, I don't need to load her down, you know? It's like, <laughs> uh, there's no reason to get crazy here. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, all right. So, That's uh, sweet. So they did these gauges up in top and bottom. You actually get an actual readout for uh, hours. So it's not like you're going to get like a hour counter. So when they redid the panel, when they did the engine, they replaced that. So that started at zero. So it says 687, but I don't know like the total on the engine. 687 like, since that's been done. Since this has been done. Yeah. So that's like kind of the log book. When it shows that, it shows from zero. Green yep. Step across that. Sounds good. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I like the green graders. These are like these little, like, these little like engineering things. These like, finger bolts. Oh, so they lock. Or so they lock when you're underway and nothing slides around. It's like they just don't lock. They're like kind of nuanced. Yeah. Cool boat too. We're just I'm, we're all new to this. Like, we love water. We grew up on. Okay. So we thought water was new. Yeah. We've been in boats. You know, It's amazing what two more feet does. The 34 felt so Tiny, right? small, Tiny. yeah. Also, three new batteries in this boat. Um, when I did the uh, the bottom, the batteries that were in the boat died. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, like, you know how boats are. It's yep. like, oh yeah, everything's great. And then we go to put it back in the water, wouldn't start. And I'm like, all right. So I went and bought a new big 40 battery for starting and then two brand new house batteries. So it's actually got brand new batteries in it Sweet. now too. Um, and that's what I was talking about. Like all that, yeah. like the water lines too. I don't know if you saw on the other boats you're on. All these are PEX lines, right? To that water heater. Mm -hmm. And they're all like the newer style. And so a buddy of mine who knows boats even better than I do was like, he's like, that obviously did not come factory. I was like, yeah, there's PEX. He's like, yeah, he's that PEX line did not come in the 80s. And I was like, really? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, well, it's in pretty <laughs> good shape. He's like, yeah. He's like, 
the guy definitely like when you pull up these panels too like if you hop down in there um, i can show you some more of it too yeah you I'd... pull the panels up they're labeled like the guy the old man that had it labeled each panel so like if you like start front from, left front second left it's front, numbered third, it. so it's like 21 22 23 and they're all cut perfectly to fit in those grooves all the way through the boat that's and awesome. it's just like that's important to me with the little things that, that people yeah. do they mm -hmm. care about things and if they cared about it then you well know that's you're funny better. you say that because when we've been looking online and whatever mm -hmm. he'll just pay attention to the little things of like mm -hmm. well that's how they treat just that simple thing imagine how they took care of the rest Correct. of the boat yes. well and that's, you, that's you show up good. to a boat and yeah i get people to use them but if their beds and everything are just Totally disheveled. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Just... We just finished looking at our third boat ever in our Great Loop search, and we were both pretty blown away. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was great. It was really, really everything about it from the boat itself to the seller. We just were impressed. Yeah. It was cool. We showed up, um, it's not too far from our house, only about 20 minutes, and it's on the water, it's pouring down rain, but the guy had everything opened up. And they literally had a handwritten journal of the boat's health and history. The guy that owned it before them, anytime he started it, he'd say, the date started it to drive, you know, There's X a location, whole how long it ran, and when they shut the engine off, and everything is documented just <laughs> absolutely perfectly. There's a fine details that they really paid attention to which I admired um, it was just it was taken care of like you can tell the previous owner and the current owner have just really taken care of it from every detail like I said the 34 to 36 foot difference was immense honestly I yeah. mean that no, makes a big difference like I'm, I was sitting there looking at this bow and I don't know what Evan was thinking because this is our first time like talking about it but I was sitting there and I'm like we're gonna do the great loop in this thing <laughs> I'm like I could see myself making dinner in the little galley could see us up on the flybridge it comes with a dinghy which is cool because I think a lot of the boats we've been looking at don't come with one I think no, I think we would have to buy it separately and the davit that was great. Yeah. They added that in. I mean, the engine room had totally been redone. All new soundproofing. The, the people before us. Workshop in the engine room. Yeah, they had you like know, a pegboard. <laughs> a pegboard with all the tools and needed, you know, necessity parts. The only thing that stood out to me, which is like so minor because we can buy one, is I would prefer to have like a refrigerator. Versus, yeah, so it was a cooler. A lot of boats have them. It's like a big tub you have to reach down into, and instead of like our normal refrigerators, it's just a cold plate. The plate gets really, really cold, and that's what cools the whole cooler. So, right. Uh, I would take really out that. common. It's common, yeah, but for our use, I would take out that entire chest, stick one of those smaller refrigerators in there. It's pretty sick. <laughs> it was. It was. It was really cool. Definitely have to think long and hard about it, and we'll see what happens. We'll see. It's meant to be. It'll